Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will show you how to receive a Whisper transmission with your RTL SDR dongle modified in direct sampling mode. Here, my dongle using a differential to single ended amplifier and an LNA and a low pass filter on the RF input to only pass the DC to 14 MHz band and it's routed to the I branch of the amplifier or the AADC chip so here is the setup you can see in SDR Sharp that I'm using direct sampling and for the shake of calibration because you may know that the article is the dongle using a simple crystal oscillator and it's not so precise and the whisper mode requires extremely precise calibration I'm using my whisper transmitter on the Raspberry Pi using my QRP QRP I dong uh, shield and I will do the calibration on the receiver side to this transmitted signal because it's using the NTP time algorithm to do the calibration it's pretty pretty sure that I'm pretty sure that it's, it's precise and it can be used as a base. We will use two kind of software for the calibration. One is the Whisper receiver. As here you can see, uh, I, it's already decoded a lot of my, my packets from the transmission. <coughs> It's important that I'm not using an antenna at all uh, because the the transmitter is in my backyard so it's so strong that after the LNA it would completely saturate the ADC and again it depends on your conditions you may have to use an antenna so there is a really nice Waterfall di diagram in Whisper, Whisper X, what I'm using here by K1GT. And here, as you can see, this is the center of the Whisper band, and you have minus and plus 100 Hz window, or this is the wall channel bandwidth. And during the calibration, in SDR Sharp, I move the signal, the received signal, until it gets into the middle of the whisper band. So I let you let you show this here. Here is the frequency correction option in SDR Sharp options, and as you moving for example downstairs this value you can see what happens in SDR sharp it was a really small change we have 2500 kilohertz bandwidth in USB mode right now but if you take a look at the Vesperix waterfall which is kind of zoom in only to the important part of the of the spectrum it goes a really really huge step so first you have to uh, watch in at your sharp and imagine the center line for example here of your receiver bandwidth or the baseband And you possibly want to move it to the center of that band. And in parallel, 
keep an eye on the Whisperix window, waterfall window, so it will appear here. Yeah, you already have the signal, but it's too low. And now we have to wait a little bit because it starts in every, every even minutes. So transmission started again. And I'm moving the PPM offset upwards. Now only looking at the Whisperix window. As you can see, I'm quite close to the center. Now it's possibly the best calibration. If I'm adding one more ppm, then I'm just bumped over the center frequency here. So going back to 68 ppm, if I go one, one lower in ppm, then it's too low. So 68 is the best fit for my dongle. It's um, you also have to take care that you have to wait until your dongle warms up because the crystal frequency is depends on the temperature of the crystal. And also, if you, for example, open up your window, your house window, and your inter your cooler starts or the, your heating starts, it can influence it. So. Time to time you may want to check it from your local Whisper transmitter, which the easiest and cheapest to use the QRPI. But you can you can check the, the files of this from taper website. So here it is, and as you can see in the sorry. As you can see here in the Whisper window, it's already decoded uh, every every of my package. Even I'm not using any antenna on the receiver dongle. I have minus two to minus twenty dB signal to noise ratio. It's pretty good. And the frequency offset, which is really important, as you can see here, it's in this case 2 hertz, 2 hertz, 2, 2, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 100 hertz here. I suspect it was during the, um, it was during the tuning of the PPM offset, so it was some sort of uh, not complete reception of the calibrated signal. So 2 Hz precision is pretty good. You can leave with it. Just again, take care when your dongle uh, cool down or heats up from external issues, then you have to recalibrate because it's, Whisper is really, really sensitive. Because you only have 200 Hz bandwidth, and if you're out of that bandwidth, then you simply cannot receive. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching, and good luck for your experiments.